Hey, John Samez from simpleprogrammer.com. Uh, if you're watching the YouTube video, you can see I am in front of the Statue of Liberty. I'm still here in New York City. Tomorrow I'll be going home after my three and a half month trip. And uh, just came down from going up to the pedestal, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I didn't go up to the crown because I have my four year old with me and uh, she's not allowed to go up there, but uh, maybe next time. But uh, anyway, um, I thought I would just do a, a quick video here since there's uh, a lot of people and I got to get moving, but uh, just about uh, sort of the, the trip and sort of what uh, what it means to really uh, in, to have the opportunity to live in the United States. As, you know, as much as I've enjoyed Europe, um, I found that uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you take for granted for in the United States that uh, don't exist in the rest of the world. And you now, granted, I was in Europe where you know, there's definitely a lot of freedom, but it's definitely not as free in many respects as, as the U.S. is. And you know, sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes it's a bad thing. Uh, you know, one thing that's apparent here is uh, you know getting to New York City and riding the subways and seeing some of the dirtier parts of New York City is uh, is just that with uh, when you give freedom uh, you know you give everybody freedom so there's uh, you know while uh, you basically end up trading security for it to some degree and you know as uh, as, as you can see if you've ever gone to a, kind of a national monument in the United States uh, it's a lot more secure than it is in Europe uh, we could go basically up to the Eiffel Tower or up to pretty much any of the national monuments in Europe with minimal security at all. Uh, but in order to get to the Statue of Liberty, you have to go through two, <laughs> two like airport security checkpoints, essentially. One to get on the boat just to get to the island and then another one inside the crown and, uh, and it's, it's pretty tight security. So anyway, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's just something to consider is that, you know, freedom comes at a price uh, and, uh, and sec security comes at a price and, uh, the, um, you know, you, you trade one for the other. The more freedom you give, uh, the less security you generally have to, you know, to, to some degree. But, uh, but yeah, I thought I would just sum up a little bit of, of you know, uh, of, of what, what I thought about, uh, you know, traveling to Europe and then, then coming back here to the U.S. Um, and uh, and I think that's that's the main point is really just the, the difference in, in freedom and, and some of the things that you take for granted and uh, and just uh, how different that is and uh, yeah so that's that's it I don't really have a, a whole lot uh, else to, to say here and uh, this is my last video on this trip so I won't be shooting cell phone <laughs> videos uh, maybe though when I get the iPhone uh, 6s it's got 4k video it'll actually be better than video camera I might try that out a little bit but uh, I'll be back uh, shooting a batch of videos hopefully in the next week uh, with my camera crew and uh, that should be fun I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing some of the updates from my trip if you're a podcast listener thanks for bearing with me even though uh, you couldn't really see much hopefully you still got some value uh, it's always hard to do a video or, or uh, you know, give good advice on on the fly here. It's much easier sitting at your desk, you know, contemplating what you're going to say rather than listening on the fly. So excuse my ums and stutters and whatever uh, you know mistakes I make as I'm trying to produce these videos. But uh, I definitely didn't want to miss these moments. I wanted to at least capture this on video. And uh, next next trip, uh, I'll, I'll have a better plan. We will do a better job. But uh, it's been fun, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And back to the regularly scheduled programming. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you uh, want to see more videos. And, and uh, if you're a podcast listener, uh, definitely check it out. check it out in iTunes. You can find Simple Programmer Podcast. Talk to you next time. Take care.